so hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys for always coming back to watch my video i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you guys for always coming back over and over again thank you so much so please if you have not subscribed to this channel please join the family subscribe press the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video like and share this video so these are the materials i'll be needing for this particular fascinator so this is my cap ready-made cap you can get the big size then trim it to any size of your choice so this is it this is my scissors my uhu glue this is my bias tape and my needle then this is art wire where they say art material where they say art material you get it there it's called art wire and this is my crinoline and this is my jewelry wire as you can see this is size 71 so this is my crinoline so the first thing we we'll measure out is we we'll measure out 39 inches So we measure out 39 inches. So I'll cut it out. So I'm adding my glue in order for this part not to loosen out this particular part. So I'll just use this glue to stabilize this part. So this is the millinery wire. I'll be cutting out for three inches. This 43 inches will be added attaching it to that 39 inches crinoline we cut out so i'm cutting out more than the amount needed because i don't want shortage at all so i'll be cutting out the crinoline i'll be cutting out the millinery wire to attach to it so as you can see i've secured the edge if you look at the style very well you can see that one crinoline went around the face which is the main um, main crinoline before we added the rows so this is the crinoline that will go around the face in order for the crinoline to be able to stand and and be firm when you wear it we'll add our millinery wire so at this edge so you place it like this at this edge then you take your needle and thread like this you take your needle and thread at the edge then you start sewing like this you can see do it like this then you sew you sew both for the up and the down just the same way we are sewing this millinery wire on this part you do the same thing on this other part you sew the wire all the way down so you sew it like this at the edge you can see it so we we'll go again you leave a space like this can see so this is how it is then you go again then you take this one cross it like this to secure it you can see so that's how we're sewing it we sew it all the way around on this part then do the same thing for the other side So for forming the bow, I'll be using my jewelry wire. As you can see, this is how I'll be using size 71. Why I'm using this jewelry wire is just to give structure to the bow so that I can be able to arrange the bow and place it wherever I want it to be. You can use your jewel, you can use your millinery wire, but I think you have I think I'll have more control over the bow when I use this um, jewelry wire. Now we are going to be passing the the jewelry wire on our the edge of the crinoline. We'll, we'll do it on this part and also on this part. So if you want to sew, you can sew, but I'll just I'll do it like this. Place it here, bring it out. I'll do the same thing on this part, like this. Then I'll bring it out at the edge. Gently go in. Like this at the edge, then bring it out. 
Then I'll continue like this. So when you get to the edge like this, you cut it with your you cut it out like this. So this is what we have. While we are fixing this wire, just to give the crinoline structure when we are forming the bow. Something like this. You know, just to make it stand like this, as you can see. So this next is so we'll fold it like this. You know, the, the other one we did was on both sides. So this will be on one side. So we'll fold it like this. Fold it like this. Then I'll use my, my jewelry wire to form at the edge, just the way we did to the other one, like this. So we'll continue to place our wire like this can see it at the edge. The purpose of this also is to give structure to the crinoline and also make sure it's at the edge. And so when we cover it with our, and because the jewelry wire is at the edge, when you, when you want to sew your bias, there will not be any issue where you want to sew it. So we we'll continue like this. So as you can see, I'm done sewing. You can see the millinery wire. You can see the wire I've sewn it to the crinoline. As you can see. And this other one, I've also fixed the jewelry wire on it. As you can see. The same thing with this. So this is the bias tape. So this is how bias tape look like. You can get this with a set tailor material, as you can see. So you cut it, you cut the size that you want. So the first one we are going to cut out is the 39, 39 inches. So this is the 39 inches. I will just add some few inches to it in case there's excess. So I will just add some few inches to it. So this is it. So I'll cut another one like this. So after cutting that, I will join it together like this it like this you can see then on this line I will sew it on this line all the way down so that's what we are going to be doing so after sewing this is what you have you can see it so this is how it will look like inside after sewing at this point you can use your glue if you feel you cannot sew you can use your glue you place your glue on one side of the you place your glue on one side of the bias then you close it like this. You can see it also come out very neat. So we we'll place it here where we have this wire. We we'll place it like this. We we'll place it like this. Then we we'll fold it. So this is how we are going to be sewing it. Like this. We we'll place it like this. Fold it. And we are going to sew. So why sewing? You have to be careful. So you you sew it gently. Don't rush. As you are arranging it, you are sewing it, you are arranging it, you are sewing it. That's how you sew it all the way down. Then we'll do the same thing for this part. Then the other ones, will also do the same thing. For. So as you can see, I'm done sewing. I've sewn this part. You can see. Then this other one for the bow. I've sewn it down. Then this other one for the other design. So the next thing, I'll fold it this way. Like this. I'll also bring this. Then I'll place it like this. You can see? Then I'll sew it down. You can see it. So I'll use my needle and thread to sew it down.
So I'll be forming the rows, as you can see. So now you take the mid, this part, just take it straight to the middle like this. Then I also take this part to the middle. So like this. This is what you, so. So this is what we have. So I'll use my needle and thread to sew it down. So I'll just form a bow with this. At this point, you have to be creative. You can make, you can just form anything with your crinoline. Anything you want to form, you can just form it anyhow you want it. You can see the way it is. You can twist it up. You can push it up. So that jewelry wire will help you to control it. So you can see. So the next thing, I will sew it together like this. And I also place this. So this is what I have after sewing, as you can see. This is what I have. So the next thing I'll be doing, I'll be sewing it to this ready-made cap. At this point, if you don't have something like this, you can just look for anything that has a white surface. Your felt fabric, your cinnamon, anything you can actually place on this part, go ahead and use it. If you don't have cap, you can use something, any other thing. So I'll just sew it down on this part. So I'm done sewing, as you can see. So at this point, any design you have, you can use it to cover this rough part. You can use your trimmings, you can use your rows. Basically, anything you have that you feel can cover this place perfectly. Go ahead and use it. I can decide to use this, as you can see. I can use these rows. I can use these feathers. So anything you want to use, go ahead and use. So I'll use these feathers, as you can see. I'll just fold it like this to get my shape like this. Then I'll use my needle and thread to sew it down. Then after that, I'll glue it on this part like this. Then as you can see, this part is also rough. The inner part is also rough. So you can use trimmings, anything you have. So I think I'll be using this rose. So I'll just place it like this. I'll use my USU glue to glue it down like this. I'll cut off this part. So let's, focus on the feathers. So